Pivot Table Pivot Table is Excel's most powerful feature. Once you understand Pivot Table, you can do majority of reports preparation very easily. Using Pivot Table, you can summarize, analyze, explore, and present your data in a user-friendly reports. Above all, once you understand Pivot Table, different MIS reports can be made within no time. Let us practically create Pivot Table. Have a look at given sample scenario. XYZ Corporation's export data are given. These are called raw data. All the data are present. But one cannot easily analyze these data. It is not simple to create summary reports from such data. But using Pivot Table, we can easily create useful report from these data in no time. You can see that, using Pivot Table, we have created Product Wise Sales Report. Country wise export report, country wise and in that product wise sales report. All these reports are created using pivot table. So let me delete all these reports so that we can create these pivot tables from scratch. Select any cell of the pivot table in analyze menu. Click on select and in that click on pivot table. Press delete button to delete entire pivot table. Similarly, deleting other previously made pivot tables. Let us create pivot table from scratch. First, we will create product wise sales report using pivot table. Select the data range. Click on insert tab. Click on pivot table. Small window pops up. Here we have to set two things. First things is done automatically, as you can see that it is showing selected range. We need not do anything in this. Second thing is we have to tell Excel where we want pivot table to be created. Excel gives us two choices. Namely, new sheet or an existing sheet. For this exercise, we are selecting existing sheet. As we have selected existing sheet, it will ask for the location where we would like to have pivot table created. We have to just click on any one cell of empty part of sheet. Address of that cell get automatically feeded. Click OK. Empty pivot table gets created. Along with it, the pivot table fields pane appears. Before we move further, it is very important to understand this pivot table field pane. These are fields of our data. All data fields are displayed here. None of them are selected. We have choice of selection and we select only that fields in which we are interested. By this way, only data relevant to our query can be displayed. Say in present example. We are interested in product wise sales report, so we would be selecting product field and amount field. So that when pivot table get created, only these detail will be present. Second part of this pane is this area. We have to drag different fields into these area. Depending on where we drag, which data field, pivot table structure gets created. If you observe carefully, name of these area itself explain how will it design pivot table. Say for example, fields that we add in row area, will take position of rows in the newly created pivot table. While the data field, which we add in value area, will give some of relevant values. You will understand better by doing it. Let us proceed in our current example. Now we have to select the fields in which we are interested. That is, if we are interested in product wise sales report, we will select product and amount field. And we get customized report ready. You can note that Excel has wisely added product field in raw area and amount field in values area. Otherwise, we could have done it manually by dragging the fields to that area. Similarly, let us prepare country wise sales report. Select the data, click on insert tab, click on pivot table as we did earlier, just select existing worksheet and click on appropriate empty cell. Press OK. Blank pivot table will appear. As this time, we need to prepare country wise sales report. We will select country field and drag it to the rows area, followed by amount field. Drag it to the values area. As you can see, country wise sales report is generated in no time. Now let us create more advanced report using pivot table. This time, 
we will create country-wise and in that product-wise sales report. We will be creating pivot table in exactly same way. Very first, select the data range. Click insert tab followed by clicking pivot table button. Select the existing worksheet and select empty cell in the empty area of the sheet. Press OK. As we have seen earlier, empty pivot table get created and pivot table pane is displayed in the right side. Up to this everything is same. Difference starts now. This time, we have to prepare country-wise and in that product-wise sales report. That means, this time, we will need three fields. Country, product and amount. So we will be dragging these fields down to appropriate areas of the pane. You can see that sales report is prepared as per our requirement. Have a look at the pivot pane's different area to understand it better. Country in the raw area, and products in column area. Its result is clearly reflected in the pivot table. So in this video, we have seen how to create basic reports using pivot table. It would be good to give you one important tip. The moment you click any cell, outside of the pivot table, pivot table pane gets disappear. To make it visible again, just click inside the pivot table. Summarizing steps involved in creating pivot table. Step 1. Select the data range. Step 2. Click on insert menu. In that, click pivot table. Step 3. Press OK to small pop-up window. Step 4. Select appropriate fields and drag them down to different positions. Pivot table get created. That's all for now. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And for more of these videos don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you can get updates when new videos come out.